Today, we are taking the world debut look at the all-new Heartland Travel Trailer. This one is that perfect floor plan with corner bunk beds. This is the 2024 Heartland Cortera, the model 28.1 BH. We're going to be taking a look at all the features of it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Today I am super excited. We got our first chance to see the Heartland Cortera during the Florida Super Show and today is our first time we're doing a review. And don't forget, at the end, we're gonna give you three things we love about this unit, three things we don't love about it. But first, let's say hi to Will. Hey Will! Hi guys! How's it going? It's going good guys, I'm so excited to take a look at this Cortera. This is, Jen told me, one of her favorite design units on the inside. Really? She loves the colors and everything they did. So uh, I can't wait to show you guys. Well, you know what? The colors and patterns, all that stuff is so super important. Yep. Model is 28.1. The actual tip, tip length of this unit is 32 feet 10 inches. Right over there, Sir William. Oh. The dry weight is 6,588 pounds. The hips weight is 742 pounds. This has 44 gallons of fresh water, 47. 44 gallons of fresh water, excuse me, 87 gallons of gray water, 30 gallons of black water. This is an awesome, perfect size travel trailer. Really, really nice. It is. Power tongue jack here, propane tanks here. Your batteries go there. You also got a disconnect switch right there, which I like. And look at this beautiful painted fiberglass front cap with the diamond plate rock guard. Now, Very nice. Now, Heartland. It's Cortera, okay? Cortera means Heartland in Spanish, right? Yep. Very nice. Not Spanish. Uh, Portuguese? Something like that, yeah. One of those. Forgive us for. Core means heart, Terra means land. Thank you. We did the world debut during RV Open House on their fifth wheel. Yep. The fifth wheel towable market is struggling right now. Right. General RV went there looking to cancel brands not pick up brands. You know what I'm saying? Right. To shrink their selection pool, not to expand it. Once they saw the Corterra, they actually signed them up. Right. Which is legendary in this market. That just goes to show you how awesome these units are. And wait till you guys hear the price points. Coming on down here, we do have electric stabilizer jack. Okay. The one Kia like system. And look at these doors. Very nice storage doors. You also have a solar disconnect. Motion light on the inside and everything. If you back on up, you're gonna see that we do have a slam latch door and it does have Asdell. Asdell is a composite that sits behind the fiberglass so it will never delaminate on you. And look at how nice of a looking travel trailer that it is. This unit does have two doors right here. We do have a door to the bedroom, but unfortunately they are the black fold up steps. We do not like these steps. We will touch on that a little later. Coming on down, we have a huge power awning with LED lights, power and coax if you do want to have a TV on the outside, and potable water fill right here. Oh. Potable. Potable, potable. Yes, sir. And then look at these tires, Will. They're trailer kings. I love those. 225-75 R15. Very nice. And then coming on down here, we hate the fold-up steps, so at least they gave you these solid steps right here, which is the main steps that open up into the living room area. Right here, we have a nice big grab handle. The climate defense, the climate defense package right here. So it's gonna have that heated and closed underbelly. And then check this out. <coughs> right here, we have a very nice little fridge. Okay. What are you doing, Will? Come on up here. Oh, I thought you said stand back. No, 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 just for that second. Oh, yeah. I'm like, I don't know why you're having me do right, it. I'm, like, what the I'm still wondering, on? like, waiting for the punchline. <laughs> <laughs> Suburban cooktop right there, dude. I'm like, what are you doing? That's funny. And then right there, we do have a place to uh, lease up your furry friends. Coming around the back, sir, <laughs> We do have a nice bumper for your stinky slinky. Spare tire, spare tire carrier. Water heater right there, fresh water port, a place to hook up that Lippert ladder, and a prep for a Fury on backup camera. Nice. For those of you guys that don't know, I do hand motions with both Will and Andrea yeah. to signal what I want. So I guess I went like this, but right. I, didn't, I didn't 
go like that. <laughs> you didn't say to come like, back in. We do in. a lot of sign language throughout the show. Nobody notices it, but now that I mention it, you'll probably start noticing right. it. <laughs> Satellite hookup here. City water connection, black tank flush. A 50 amp service right here. And then down here is the Valtero uh, place to dump your tanks. Okay. <laughs> Here's your second dump right there, Sir William. Very nice. Very nice, clean looking unit, Will. And let me tell you something, you got excellent storage right here as well. And let me tell you something, for real, the outside of this unit looks great, but for real, for real, the inside looks freaking beautiful. Let's go, take a look. Okay. Yes. Look at the inside well. All right. We'll start up front. Nice bedroom up here. You see that second door. <coughs> then in the middle, you have your kitchen. Living area, dining area. And in the back, you have the bunks and the bathroom. Yes. And well, this episode is sponsored by Liquefied. Again, our brand of RV toilet tank treatment. Guys, if you own an RV, use Liquefied. It's enzyme and bacteria-based toilet treatment, and it's 100% owned by me, Well, and the Matt's RV Reviews team. So, please support our business and go to Amazon and buy some Liquefied. That's right. And Brandon. And Brandon. But Brandon's family now. Yep. Okay, Brandon's our Amazon guy. Right here, we do have um, corner bunk beds, 300 pounds maximum load. Okay. Look at this nice sturdy ladder right there. Yep. And then here, we got a little bit of storage right underneath there. There you go. Very unique with that little pipe there. So the bed does not fold up out of the way. Right. Oh, I missed that. Over here, we have a huge amount of storage right there. That is huge. And look how those panels, look, look at that, Will. Oh, there it is, okay. Weird. Yeah. <laughs> you don't like that, do you? I don't know if I like it or if I hate it. Well, it's kind of nice because like, it's it out sucks. of sight. It sucks when you use it, but it's nice when yeah. you're not using yeah, it. Yeah, I know. Interesting. Pros and cons. Pros and cons. Look at this nice radius roof. I, I love these lights yes, here. Yes, yes. Very nice. And let's let's talk about the elephant in the room. Look at this beautiful sofa. Yeah, it is nice. Look at this beautiful furniture, okay? Accordion style valances right here. Beautiful furniture. This does try fold out. You got power and USB here. Right there. Well, look how at the stitching of it. Yep. This is absolutely beautiful. And then look directly across, well, at the entertainment center. E it's the little stuff like this that makes it look good. It is, know? yeah. Sansui TV. Did you see the um, new things that are going behind the TVs? No. So uh, I saw it on TikTok. They're these lights. Mm -hmm. And they match the scene of what's going on on the oh, television. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so somebody was watching Harry Potter. Yeah. And they're doing like a Harry Potter I did duel. see that. Yeah. Isn't that cool looking? Jen did something similar to that in the avenue. Oh, really? Yeah. I like that. Right here we have this little thing right here. Little uh, tabletop. Right here we have your sound system. A little bit more storage there. And a fireplace, which does produce heat from electricity. Very and nice. look at the little legs right there. It just makes it a little bit more stylish. You know right. what I'm saying? For sure. Right over here, <coughs> notice the flush floor slide out. Yep. Notice this awesome looking dinette. Again, good looking sofas and everything. Come on over here. Okay. This drops down to make a bed. We have a nice table that drops down. And again, very nice looking furniture here. Good looking cushions. All four of these windows open up as well to give you some nice airflow. Well, show us this awesome um, kitchen area. All right, we'll start right here. You have a nice compressor refrigerator by Everchill. Very really nice. Really good size. Gets cold very quick as well. Right next to that is the little Greystone microwave. Okay. And then Greystone hood range. And then you have your three burner uh, Suburban cooktop. Elite no series. Yeah, Elite series. But you have a nice oven and no drawer underneath. That's uh, going to be your furnace. Yes. Right here, nice storage up top. Okay. Great window on your campsite. Solid surface countertops throughout the whole kitchen. I like that color. 
Yes, and I like the color of this cabinet. It's I kind do of too. Like blue. Yeah, kind of a bluish gray. Right. Looks very nice. Four Damn. drawers all the way down. All those drawers. And then coming back up in the blue with the natural wood brown looks very nice. Storage right there. Nice extension faucet. Big single bowl sink with this plastic insert. Yes. And then a little bit of storage <coughs> underneath. Wow. There you go. Very, very nice. And that's it. Well, well, do you know what time it is? It's now time for, for the, the MSRP. MSRP. I feel like we're rolling through this. Right, it has been quick. But you know what, Will? We're here for a good time, not a long time. That's right. And you know what? It's like we shouldn't try to make our reviews fast, but we also shouldn't try to make them slow. I agree. Just do it. It just is the way it is. The, get the information if it takes a while. Good. If not, also good. All right. Oh, snap. MSRP on this unit here is... <laughs> Jen, please call Cosmo to get the MSRP of this unit here. You know why, Well, Because it's brand new. It's not even on our website yet. That's right. And if we don't have the MSRP, that means we don't have the sale price. So, Miss Jennifer, <laughs> please call Cosmo to get the sale price of this unit right there and well do you see what that sale price is i don't fantastic i do okay. it's really good it's right there but regardless of what that sale price is i know we can get everybody a lot better sale price than that all you guys have to do is go to generalrv.com slash matt's cash we've linked it down in the youtube description below you guys can get there from matt's rvreviews.com or call 844-969-4033 Please reach out to us, Will, and a member of our team will reach back out to you guys, and they will get you the best price in America. That's right. Will. Yeah? Show us this uh, shower area. Oh, yeah. I was going the wrong way for the bathroom. You were. Okay. So it's this radius roof and a big step up. Mm. How do you feel, Will? Man, that's unfortunate. What's unfortunate about it? It's very wide mm. for a travel trailer. Very yeah. wide, very deep, but the headspace is definitely lacking. Um, and if you're, you know, a couple inches shorter than me, you're yeah. probably good. Um, also, I don't like this curtain, but I don't normally fail it for that. But unfortunately, this does not pass. Womp womp. It is A-OK. -okay. Well, stand back there. Okay. Right over here, we do have a nice mirrored medicine cabinet right here. We got a very nice sink, not solid surface countertops, okay? A little bit of storage oh, there that we can't get all the way open because of that plastic toilet. We do got a little bit of shelving there. And oh, liquefied to sponsor today's episode. Right here. It's oh. not right there or there. You can just leave it on the counter. Yes, sir. Don't fit there either. Really? I tried that. Dang. Oh, there you go. Just like that. And then we do have a nice little towel holder right here. And then come on out, switch Will. now. Yes, sir. We're going to switch it up. Okay. Oh, also, you know what makes this look good? Is this trim right here. It does. Yeah, yep. the natural wood look. Yep. <laughs> Great plastic, place, Will. man. Plastic, Yeah. Will. It's plastic, Will. This is not a prime poop position. Womp, 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 womp. Let's wrap it up with this master bedroom. Okay. Coming on in here, I love the fact that there's a door right there. I like that a lot too, yeah. Oh man, we got a TV mount right here. Nice. And then we got some drawers right here. Very cool. I was not expecting that. You like apples? Yeah. How do you like them apples? I like them. We got storage all the way around right here. And again, this natural wood look looks really, really well. It does. Get those and then I'll get Two AC These? units on this as well. Wow. Storage all the way around. And here's yes. a better view of the closet space here. And then you even got those holes for the little cubbies with power yep, and everything. Power. There's USB there. Yes. Power right there. I wonder what these are for. Do you know? Let me see. Probably Some with fillers. The for, no, probably for oh, the, the dinette. dinette that drops mm -hmm. down. Yep. Okay. And then a little bit of storage right here. You know what? I like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Better than nothing. A lot of times. Something under that? Well, there's going to be like tanks and stuff. Oh, okay. Yep. So very nice. And again, nice radius and everything. A beautiful travel trailer at a beautiful price. And let me tell you something. 
Heartland's been struggling lately on their designs, and they knocked it out of the park yep. with the Corterra, both fifth wheel and travel trailer. But guys, that's it, and that's the review. Now, before y'all leave, it's time to give you three things we love about this unit and three things we don't like. Well, what do we do first? Three things we like. Yeah. I'm going to say first, the colors. Yep. The furniture, the natural wood look, the, the, the blue, the texture here. All of this stuff looks absolutely fantastic. And it makes this unit look absolutely beautiful and different in an RV industry. And I love that. Yes, for sure. That's like number one. Well, what's like number two? Like number two, I'm going to say that second entry door. Talk to me. I love how you can access the bedroom. You want to put the kids to sleep but hang out by the fire pit a little bit longer? It's fine. You, you're not going to wake the kids up when you go to bed. That's number two. And then, well, we need a number third. Number three. Man, it's the colors in here that just like, it that's really, the big thing. You know what? We'll say the furniture, the okay. colors. The valances, the natural wood look. I know we made it number one, but Will, we almost need to make it a super light because yeah. it looks that good in here. Not only that, the flush floors, the corner bunks, it's just a nice... And the cabinet color. Cabinet color, sophisticated design yep. that really knocks it out. And I love these LED lights up here. Those are cool, yeah. Everything about this unit is beautiful. Now that's three things we love about it. Now it's time for three things we don't like about it, Will. May okay. I go first? Sure. Even though we do love that second door, I hate the black fold-up steps. Right. Womp, womp. That is just like number one. If you're going to give me fold-up steps, give me the aluminum fold-up steps. Yep. But even on that, on this floor plan, they could have easily given you double solid steps. <clears throat> that is dislike number one. Will, tell me dislike number two. Dislike number two for me is going to be, I hate how they didn't make this so that it flips out. Uh-huh. hundred percent. So... There's so much storage under there, and yeah, you can access it, but like it's kind of wasted space in my opinion. It's just hard. That is 100% agree, and well, that was my dislike number three, so now we need to find a dislike, number, dislike three. number three. Tell me, Will. Wrap it up, Will. A, the toilet. Yep. And the shower, but yep. this is what really I Yeah, hate. who thought of that? Yeah, and I'll combo it. Talk I don't to know me. why this drives me a little crazy. What's that? But this door is so much bigger than this one. Like, I don't know why they didn't just put it in the middle. Ah. Uh, you know so, what I mean? So the symmetry of this door is messing you all up. That's right. Well, Will, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you're interested in buying a Heartland Cortero, we can get you a lot better price than that sale price. All you guys have to do is go to generalrv.com slash matscash. Linked it down in the YouTube description below. You guys can get there from Mets, RVRVs.com, or call 844-969-4033. Please reach out to us, and a member of our team will reach out to you guys, and they will help you get the absolute best price in America. Will, what say you? Guys, thank you all so much for watching. Um, hopefully you guys can see why we love this unit and the colors and everything in here. Make sure to leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like, three things you dislike. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you absolutely yes, everybody so much you. for watching. And Will, we'll see you next time.